Liberty Bowl football. It's the Crimson Tide of the University of Alabama versus the Fighting Illini of the University of Illinois. Live from Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium in Memphis, Tennessee. Doing the kicking for Illinois. Joey Jones is the man in the middle, and Mike Bass comes down on the ball of the 24th annual Liberty Bowl underway. A squib kick picked up by a short man of the 20, and Alabama has it at the 30-yard line. First and 10, Alabama from the wishbone. Hand off to the halfback. Big hole up to the 37-yard line goes Jeff Fagan, the senior from Hollywood, Florida. On a third down and three, Alabama. Lewis inside handoff, first down. Fagan carries the ball. Lewis on the option, pitches back, juggled, but recovered, and time for a first down for Alabama. 35 bowl games for the Crimson Tide. That's an NCAA mark. It's second down and seven. On the option, Lenny Patrick juggled momentarily. Fumble, Illinois recovers. They have a third down and about five call as Tony Eason marks the signal. Senior from Walnut Grove, California. Flags down the play. Well, the penalty is against Alabama. Evidently, Illinois a little mixed up in the alignment. Now they switch to the eye, and Eason's going to throw just a little flat pass. Complete. He's got his man close to a first down. Tony Eason, the quarterback, on first and ten. Eason again back to throw. Fires the sideline. Got his man inside the Alabama. 20 goes Mike Martin. It'll be second down and eight. Eason wants to throw for it. Rolling out. Gets his pass away. It is in and out of the grass for the intended receiver, tight end Tim Brewster. And now the outstanding Illinois plays kicker, Mike Bass, will attempt the conversion. Tim Damron will hold. This will be her attempt, the field goal. This will be a 35-yard attempt, and it's blocked by Alabama. Alabama will take over as the field goal is blocked. It was blocked by Randy Edwards. And Walter Lewis brings out the Crimson Tide. Lewis, play action. Has a lot of time going deep, and it is caught. For a first down at the Illinois 26-yard line, Joey Jones. 50-yard strike from Walter Lewis to Joey Jones. First and 10, Alabama. They have it at the 26-yard line. Lewis going to throw again. Up the middle, caught inside the 10 for a first down by Jesse Bendris. And as you can see, he can run the ball. Inside handoff, touchdown. Ricky Moore, the sophomore fullback, going in from the double wing. Yeah. Eason being rushed, gets it away, a screen pass. It's caught at the 27, up over the 40 for a first down. Goes Joe Curtis. Back to pass, Eason. He's going deep, and it's incomplete. He overshot his intended receiver. It's second down and three on the broken wishbone. Back to pass, Lewis. He's going to be sacked, and he is nailed. And Craig Swope replacing Mark Jones. Swope, a freshman. Lewis back to pass, gets the screen. Oh, it's well set up. Alabama up to the 30, 35, fights for a first down. It's first and 10, Alabama at the 37-yard line, their own 37. On the option play, Lewis going to keep. Now he pitches back. Running room and a first down by Jeff Fagan. Crimson tied with third down and five. Lewis on the option play. Keeps first down and then some. Inside the Illinois 25 to the 22. 6'1", 209 pounds. Lewis back to pass. Oh, he is pressured. Fumbles the football. Recovers his own fumble, but way back at the 42. David Edwards on a safety blitz. This is Malcolm Simmons, eighth in the nation in punting, 43.3 yards per punt. Kirby Wilson and Mike Martin are back. Fair catch called, and then it rolls. Dead at the two-yard line. What a great save. 
base and just a quick out has his man to the 10 yard line. Well, in the last 17 years, Illinois has had only three winning seasons, two of those coming under Mike White, who has really turned this program around. Easton to pass. Got a man wide open, Martin. Martin to the 40 and then to the 47-yard line. First to 10, Illinois at the 47-yard line. Easton to throw. He's got a man. His tight end in Alabama territory goes Tim Brewster. Easton's going to throw for the first down. Look out. He gets it away. It's caught by Oliver Williams. Inside the Alabama 20-yard line is Oliver Williams. So it is a 10-yard penalty, bringing up a third down and 18 for Illinois. Easton being blitzed, gets it away, and it is intercepted by Alabama at the 13-yard line. Coley, the senior quarterback, calling signals. Inside handoff and a big hole and a first down for Alabama on the wishbone. Strong safety is up in a position to blitz. Here he comes. Fumble. Fumble. Coley fumbled the football. Illinois has recovered. At the Alabama 25 after the turnover. Eason to pass up the middle. It is caught at the one-yard line. Ball jarred loose. Is it a fumble or incomplete? What a hit by the Alabama secondary on Dwight Beverly. Coley only threw 10 passes during the regular season. Option play, Coley keeps, and he's short of a first down. He stopped at the 14-yard line. Tony Eason, straight back, has some time. Double pumps, runs out of trouble, gets it away, and it is nearly picked off by Castile. He did pick it off. Second interception of the game by Jeremiah Castile. This is how Illinois' defense looks at that wishbone. But don't ever forget the fact that Alabama can't come up with that long, big play. Alabama did not get the first down on that call. One setback. Eason rolling out, looks upfield, being pursued, and he is driven out of bounds on a fine defensive play by the All-American and Mike Pitts. Also, those watching in Honolulu, KITV in Honolulu. After a fake to the left, goes right, got some running room, does Murphy, and Murphy is really nailed at the 37-yard line. He got the first down. Third down, 13. Welcome to our viewers watching on WGN-TV Chicago. He's got his man, Oliver Williams, first down at the Alabama 49. There are Eason's stats. He owns nine NCAA passing marks. Eason gets it away. Coming back to grab it is Oliver Williams at the Alabama 38. It's a first down. Eason wants Kirby Wilson. He's got him at the 25-yard line. Knocked out of bounds at the 25. It's impossible to cover them one-on-one -on -one all game long. Alabama's got to do, mix it up. Got his tight end. Inside the 20 to the 16-yard line goes Tim Brewster. Riles the lone running back behind Eason. Eason's going to throw for the first down. Man-to-man -man coverage. Eason. It is caught. A great catch by number 40 for Illinois, Cam Benson. Eason. Being pursued, gets it away, intercepted at the two-yard line, all the way back to the 21. There you see the turnovers, they've been costly to Illinois. Lewis, Here's the play pass. Lewis throws, and it is intercepted, Illinois, at the 40-yard line. Back to the 25, the 20, and down to the 16-yard line goes Dennis Bishop. Eason being pursued, just throws one up, got his man, Martin, inside the 10 to about the eight yard line. Second down and goal. Curtis diving, touchdown Illinois. Curtis broke the play to the end zone before being pushed back. Pass's extra point is wide. Mike Bass. 
wide on the extra point, and he hasn't missed one of those in a long time. First and 10 at the 18-yard line. Lewis keeps the ball. Lewis has some running room up over the 35 to the 40 on the option play. Goes Walter Lewis. That's what I said, theoretically. Be quite a show. Lewis is going to throw for it. Gets his pass away. It's picked off by Illinois again. That's Bishop. Bishop's second interception. Bishop looking for some running room and finally is swarmed under. Bear Bryant is one of those few that can silence a room of thousands just by his presence. Here's the three wideouts to the left side. They're going downfield. The ball's going to be 60 yards in the air. And that is the end of the first half, and Alabama it's gets another interception and a lateral. And the ball's still alive. It is still yeah. alive. A little California play here. <laughs> Castile finally brought down at midfield. That's the kind of half this has been. And with the score, Alabama 7, Illinois 6. That's the end of the first half. Jumping out into what looks to be a zone coverage now. Eason, sideline pattern. And he underthrew his intended receiver, who was Mike Murphy, out of the backfield. So it's fourth down, and Illinois' punter, Chris Sigourney, will come on. Their last appearance, big win over UCLA, 36-6. On the option play, Lewis Keats has some running room over the 45 to the 47-yard line. It's a first down, Alabama. It's a good shot of the Alabama offensive line. Lewis puts it in the air, has his receiver, Bendross, and Bendross knocked out of bounds on the far side at the 37-yard line to Jesse Bendross. They can do it with the pass or with the option? With the pass. Lewis gets it away. Bendris has a first down and then some at the 19-yard line. Obviously an audible. There's a, eight people up front. Inside handoff and inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. It is a first down Alabama. Walter Lewis sends a man in motion. Reverse. Reverse to Bendris and Bendris has blockers. Touchdown Alabama. Jesse Bendris. They've done a great job, haven't they? They really have. You've been traveling all over, I imagine. 20,000 travel miles a month. <laughs> God bless you, Debbie. Thanks a lot for being with us. We appreciate it. Debbie Maff and Miss America is Illinois running it back. This is Beverly, and Beverly all the way to the Alabama 44. Second down and five. Eason. Up the middle again. This is his favorite receiver, Mike Martin, for a first down at the 29-yard line. Play action to Murphy. Eason rolls out. Being pursued. Gets it away. It's incomplete. He's in and out of the grasp of Cam Benson. Eason is down. I don't know if he's... He was hit by Mike Pitts. And this is Chris Jenner, a junior, 6'5", 220. Not, he has a third down and five call. And not much playing action all season long. He only threw three passes all year. He was one for three. He's going for the bomb. It is intercepted. The third interception of the night for Jeremiah Castile. Lewis being pursued. Heavy pressure on him. Gets a block, gets another block. He's got a lot of room. He's Reversing got a his field. Gets a pass away, and it is caught. Caught inbounds. The Illinois bench saying out of bounds, but it was caught inbounds, according to the official by Daryl White. However, it is being brought back, and there is a penalty, evidently, against Alabama. Dropping out into what looks to be a... Two-man zone deep. Quick pass to Thomas Rooks, and Rooks has a first down at the Illinois 43-yard line. With one end standing up. Eason's got a man open. Great grab. Brewster first down at the 31-yard line. It is second down and seven, Illinois. Alabama in a two-deep zone. Pass up the middle inside the 20 to the 19-yard line. Illinois scores here. They'll have an option to go for two. Eason up the middle. Has his man, D. Oliver, to the one-yard.
yard line, Miguel de Oliver. On a second down and goal call. And off, nothing there. Alabama's defense rearing up. Fourth down and goal at the two yard line. Flood to the left. Rolling out, he throws. It is a touchdown, Illinois. Caught by Oliver Williams. So on fourth down, Illinois is in the end zone, and it's 14 to 12. Line up on the far's hash mark and roll right. Eason lost it, and it is deflected and knocked down and incomplete. The two-point conversion batted away by, guess who, Jeremiah Castile. Well, yes, we've been real fortunate to have those good people play for us. Lewis looks to put it up. Lewis in trouble. Dropped for a loss back at the 32-yard line. I think everybody will know about him and will expect great things out of him in the future. Running room up the middle for Alabama's Ricky Moore, the 235-pound fullback, and he gains a lot of that lost yardage back. Third down, two call. First down as he hurtled over the pile. Craig Turner, the ball carrier, moved the ball to the 45, and it'll be a first down, Alabama. So I'm going to hang in there as long as I possibly can. And I happen to personally know some of your great players and a great admirer of Doug Williams, Willie Brown. Second down and five, Alabama. Walter Lewis going to put it up, sideline pattern. He has his man for a first down, and that's wide receiver Joey Jones. I've got him softened up a little bit now. now first and run. ten. On the option play, Lewis keeps inside the 20 to the 19 well, yard know, line. Joe, what, I, what I thought is that was a turning point. Second down and two, Alabama. They have the ball at the 18 yard line. Lewis keeps, pitches back, first down inside the 15 on the option play. For Alabama, they have it at the Illinois nine yard line. On the option play, Lewis pitches back and inside the five yard line to about the three yard line goes Joe Carter. And there you see some hard running. Turner, touchdown Alabama. Craig Turner. Terry Sanders kicking off for Alabama. And again, it's a very short kickoff. This is Beverly at the 22. Beverly has some running room. He's Beverly! All the way to the 44 of Alabama. Beverly set up the last Illinois touchdown with a great return. And another one there by Dwight Beverly. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. Eason going for the bundle. He's got a man, Martin. Martin to the 20, down to the 15, to the 12-yard line goes Mike Martin. Tony Eason was shattered Liberty Bowl records with his arm. Throwing to the end zone, way overthrown. His intended receiver was Oliver Williams. No fake. Bass's boot certainly long enough, and it is good by Mike Bass. 6 12 left to play as Illinois tacks on three. And with the score, Alabama 21, Illinois 15. We'll be back after this. So the importance of this third down situation is what can you say? They want to keep eight their man hands. Front, eight man front, man to man coverage. Lewis gets away from the rush, but he is going to be stopped short of a first down. There is a fumble, and Illinois is recovered. 91, Terry Cole pounces on that football. Hmm. Alabama leading 21 15. Eason. Eason's going to be in trouble, and he is sacked back at the 22 yard line by the blitzing Tommy Wilcox from his safety spot. Timeout is called. Eason is back down on the field. He took a very heavy hit. And he looks like he changes the play to the double tight. Nearly delay a gain. They had only one second. He gets the pass away and is picked off by Alabama. Back to the 25. This is Lowe, and Lowe is finally dropped at the 33-yard line. Eddie Lowe, the senior from Phoenix City, Alabama. They have it at their own 36. There's eight men up. On the option play, pitch back. 
short of a first down. The ball at the 40-yard line, shy of the first down. Jeremiah Castile, three interceptions, forced a fumble on a hard hit at the two-yard line. Our Holiday Inn MVP got a man. It's caught at the 42-yard line. A great catch and hold by Joe Curtis, the senior from Chicago. First and 10, Illinois at the 42-yard line, their own 42. Eason throws a pass, and he's got Martin. Martin in Alabama territory at the Alabama 45-yard line. Spin out to the wide side. Eason. Pass is... Caught a great catch at the 30-yard line by Oliver Williams. Had the right play on against the defense. First and 10, Illinois at the Alabama 30-yard line. Illinois down by six. 45 seconds left to play. Here Look out. Blitz. Goodbye at the 41. Russ Wood, number 89 from Elba, Alabama, a sack. Eason never saw him coming. Yeah. Blind side, and Eason is down again. And again, Chris Jenner is going to come in at quarterback on a second down. Well, Chris is two for two now. And long. Alabama's three deep zone, safety up. Jenner throws it right into the arms of the defender. That's Robbie Jones, and Jones has sewed it up for Alabama. 16 seconds on the clock, and Paul Bear Bryant's legendary coaching career is going to end with another W, his 323rd. That's right. Thanks for the memories. Sound like Bob Hope. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. The 24th annual Liberty Bowl is history. Paul Bear Bryant goes out a winner in his final game. 21 to 15, Alabama. The winningest coach of all time. Collegiate. Amos Alonzo Stagg, Pop Warner, Eddie Robinson. On the shoulders of his team. Boy, what a man. Bear Bryant. Think of the lies that he has affected. All of the young men that have gone through the program at Alabama and how much Paul Bear Bryant has meant to them, their careers, their lives.